Hey everybody, uh, this is a little thing that I made for the Dirty Wave M8 Tracker Display app, which was built in Touch Designer by Trash80. Uh, it still acts like usual, nothing's really been changed about the core functionality, but you'll see that I have a few extra uh, little UI elements down here. Um, I tried to avoid making any actual changes to the original patch, so these features are just sitting on top of everything else. But it should go without saying that this isn't officially supported by Dirty Wave or Trash80. This is just something I did as a personal project and wanted to share. So, um, first thing I wanted to do here is make this. This is, uh, you click the full view toggle down here, it brings this up. And this is kind of like a gamepad viewer. This gives visual feedback on the buttons being pressed. Then there are RGB sliders, so we can change the color of the buttons. And I've also got this button here that says CRT, so when you click on that, it, uh, it's kind of like a crude CRT TV emulation that I made that's running in, in Touch Designer. So that works on the regular display and the full view. Then there's a button down here that says Particles, and when you click it, it turns on Particles. <laughs> Maybe a little bit much, but I was getting a little carried away and having fun with the fact that this patch was like open for exploration. Uh, then I just have a bunch of scenes here. So zero is just black. Uh, one is this blue and pink checkered gradient. Number two is just some colored noise. Three is this like pixel art um, night sky over the ocean scene. Uh, this is running in real time in Touch Designer as well. So this one actually uses the... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to turn particles off. Um, this one uses the color data down here, and it also uses the waveform data. So like, here's the kick. So the waveform being displayed up here, it's actually recreated through instancing by Trash80 within Touch Designer from the serial data. So that data is accessible to like build things out of. Like here's the baseline. Uh, five is the same thing, just with uh, spheres instead of boxes. This is just some low poly geometry. Some of these look look good with that CRT style on. Seven. This is like uh, clouds made of noise, and stars made of noise. And number eight is your generic synthwave look with the low poly landscape and that sun with the <laughs> lines through it, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's gotten to be a bit of feature creep while editing the video. Just doing a quick pickup here. This is something that I added to uh, just this scene. I may go back and add it to some of the others. But if you go up to MIDI settings, turn on send sync, that's going to send the tempo into Touch Designer. If you send transport to pattern, that's going to send whether or not the song is playing. So what I've got this doing is when you hit play, So the other thing that I'll have uploaded is another version of this file which is lightweight and doesn't have any of the visuals or anything running in the background. Uh, just the stock display and the key press viewer. And this one's meant to be used as an overlay. So we have RGB and alpha sliders down here so we can use this to either set a background color and key it out or we can dial out the alpha and send this out via siphon spout to OBS or whatever software you're using. So if we wanted to set that up in OBS, we would just dial out the alpha and then add a source, spout, let's call it M8 spout. And then right here, we just need to make sure to change composite mode to pre-multiplied alpha. So then we're getting our transparency, hit okay. And now check it out. Now we have our floaty M8 tracker. And I did leave uh, particles here, just because they don't impact performance when you're not uh, using them. 
So now if you're uh, making a video or doing a stream, then this is an easy way to add a uh, key press overlay. Yeah, so this project was really just me getting like excited about the fact that this project isn't locked out and it's like free to explore and tinker around with. And like, I I didn't do much here. This is all, um, you know, Trash 80's display here. All this over here, I just did some sorting so I could um, kind of parse what it was that was going on here and, and labeled some things. It's really cool. And again, like all of this stuff is being recreated in Touch Designer from the serial data. So like here's some instancing going on to recreate that waveform out of rectangles. And like down here, the color multiplication layer for all of the text is also built through instancing. And then this part down here was really confusing me. I was trying to figure out why all this stuff was like flying around in space. So the render for these pieces of geometry is an orthographic camera, which ends up basically being 2D. Uh, and this is creating the volume meter and the little piano buttons. So the Z axis, which everything is moving on, is acting as time. So in the render over here, you're only seeing the very front or like the things that are happening right now before they start zooming backwards. <laughs> I thought that was a really cool technique. It's just funny seeing like that all these pieces of geometry are flying around in the background. So then the stuff that I added on top is all over here. Uh, this is the UI stuff. Um, this is the CRT effect. Uh, there's a container called full view. This is where stuff like button presses are. It's just a bunch of white masks of the buttons. Uh, particles in a container up here and this container stops cooking when you turn particles off so the resources aren't uh, it, it's not taking up any computing resources um, but unfortunately all the all the like scenes are always running in the background though most of these are pretty lightweight so it shouldn't be a, a major issue so a few things that I think would be useful if I were to uh, come back to this or if someone else wants to tinker with it would be making this full view uh, 16 by 9 just because uh, I think if you want to make a video and then share it, 16 by 9 can be a little more conducive to that. Uh, but the free version of Touch Designer maxes out at 1280 resolution wise, so to make this 16 by 9 at a resolution that could be distributed without people having to pay for it, it would need to be 1280 by 720. Everything here is 4.3, and so the layout of everything would just need some finagling. But secondly, audio reactivity is totally doable because you can pass audio directly into Touch Designer uh, via the USB connection on the M8. Only things to keep in mind there are that this is using um, direct sound or core audio, which can be a little bit delayed. And uh, Touch Designer does some kind of wonky interpolation if there are dropped frames where the pitch starts warbling. So it would need to be, uh, you'd need to make sure it's always running at 60 FPS. And then the other thing that I only really touched on and wish I'd thought about when I started this the other day was uh, MIDI. So uh, outside of just sending notes, which we can do. Um, so like if you want to sequence something visual, um, we can also get the start, which is on and off, whether the song is playing or not, and the tempo. And there's just so much that you can do with that. Like what I'm doing with it in that synth wavy patch is I'm just sending the tempo to an LFO's frequency. I'm sending the um, whether or not the song is playing or not to the amplitude. So when it's off, it's not pulsing at all. And when it's on, it's pulsing. And I also have it set so when it starts that the LFO is reset, so it's always in sync. But uh, yeah, there's just a ton of options for, for very easy implementation of like things that are pulsing rhythmically. Yeah, so I'm not really familiar with GitHub etiquette, but if you uh, want to download it and play with it, I think I'm going to put it up as a fork. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, this is, you know, free to download and use. I'll set it so, you know, just like Timothy's original patch, it should open in perform mode. And then you can just uh, use it as, as normal, but you have these additional little UI options down here to play with. Um, so thanks for checking it out. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to uh, reach out. Take care.